welcome back to my messy garage. Uh, this is the Flying V Project Part 6. Um, I'm still working, but it's going a little bit slower. Um, past couple weeks in life have not been uh, what I'd call normal weeks, but uh, it's fine. We persevere, we go on, and we uh, fix up old guitars. So anyway, here's the latest uh, update on the guitar. You can see um, I've got all the hardware done and um, yesterday I got a package in the mail from Chris and uh, he sent me new knobs. Um, yeah, both he and Stephanie uh, noticed that I had changed every last bit of hardware on this guitar uh, with the exception of the control knobs. I left on those, you know, uh, cheapy plastic Gibson top hat type knobs and um, these you can see have the little set screw um, so they're locked onto the onto the posts for the knobs really well uh, they're just knurled uh, chrome speed knobs and um, they're great and they match and it's way better so thank you Chris um, he also sent me a second set of knobs they were um, got like little chrome skulls with red uh, ruby red jewel eyeballs in them so um, I don't know, Those the skull knobs might end up on another guitar, but uh, these are perfect right here, and they match, and they look great, and I'm happy, so uh, now I just got the last piece of the puzzle to tackle. i got to rewire the new pickup. I've been avoiding it because my soldering skills are below par. Um, you can see I have the neck pretty well set. There is a tiny, there is a gap in there um, that I still might have to shim. I haven't done that yet because I haven't strung up the guitar although if you you know look down the neck um, it sits pretty true so I suspect it's okay um, but anyway if you look in the little tiny gap on the sides there um, I might have to shim that a little bit so the neck doesn't want to you know wobble from side to side in the pocket but other than that not bad so Thanks for the knobs, Chris, and next up, we rewire it, then we string it, and once we string it, then we'll, you know, any kind of fret buzz and all that sort of things will finish up on the neck, and um, then we'll be done, uh, pretty much, except, you know, the back plate on this guy. Um, I do need to cut out some material for the back of the tremolo block, so there's always something to do. So, anyway, part six. Sorry, I don't have more to show you, but um, there's been a lot of stuff going on in life outside of building guitars, so that's the way it goes. Thanks for watching.